Hey everyone, this is a video about how people who want to make themselves feel better will oftentimes put other people down and how little that has to do with who you are as a person. So I think in our lives we have people that we meet and for better or for worse we are affected by these people and through our interactions we're able to see a little bit more about ourselves but we're also able to understand what is right and wrong and what is harmful for others and for ourselves and what is actually helping people and in my experience one of the most painful things you can go through as a person is to have someone who is so focused on their own needs and their own gain that they aren't able to see the harm that they're causing other people. I recently had an experience where I quite literally almost died um, while I was camping at an event and the person who was supposed to be bringing me a sleeping bag didn't and it got down to like below freezing temperatures and my car had died so I didn't have any way to really get warmth or find other shelter and I didn't really know anyone enough to get help in the immediate area and I was you know 14 hours away by car um, sorry only like six hours away by car 14 hours round trip um, from my house so I was very far from anything that I knew or any way to get help and it was very scary for me and it was something that was very difficult to process and to get through um, but when I confronted this individual about it they almost seemed like they didn't care or that they didn't understand why I was making a big deal of it. And the same person had been kind of putting me down um, whenever we were in the process of making music together and instead of encouraging me through the things that I was doing well and making an effort to work with me and you know, find things that I enjoyed to do that would in improve my skill. They kind of just took this mentality of, I know what you need to learn and there's nothing that you can do to advocate for yourself because I, I know what's best for you. And no matter how much you're telling me this isn't a good fit and I'm not enjoying the way you're teaching, I'm just going to double down and tell you this is how it has to be done. And let me tell you, I've done so much better with my music, leaving that all behind. And I was able to go and jam with some people for the first time since I really ended that relationship today and it was so healing and we were able to just immediately start connecting and writing music together and we literally went for like four hours non-stop just making new and interesting variations of the songs that we were working on and you know we recorded a couple of things and I think we all walked away from it and just really kind of excited about what we could create together and I had been wanting that for years with this person that I'd been making music with and 
it it was never my fault and it was never that I wasn't good enough. It was that they were intimidated by the fact that I didn't need to go through the things that they went through to learn. And I think that almost scared them because I guess when you're feeling insecure, you want people to need you. And I think she could see that I didn't need her anymore, even if I was choosing to spend my time with her. I, uh, I can only imagine and speculate what was going on through her head, but all I know is that on my end, moving away from that energy that, you know, was me just constantly pouring myself into her and her environment and constantly cleaning her dishes and, you know, doing her trash and, you know, I even cleaned her entire room. It was to the point where you couldn't even make it to the bedroom or make it to the bed. And I, I cleaned all of that for her. I, I cleaned her litter box, which was so sacked up to, you know, through the room that you couldn't even like breathe when you were in there. I scrubbed the floors, you know, that were full of poop and, you know, barely was taking care of my own apartment. And that's just not healthy. I, I really have been taking a lot of time for myself and being very selective about who I spend my time with, but that's given me the freedom to spend all of that time and energy that I was spending on other people towards actually healing myself and finding my own independence and finding my own truth and not feeling like I am worthless anymore. So I'm just really grateful for being able to be here today. I'm really grateful for being able to do the things that I love on an almost daily basis. I'm so glad that I get to share my music with people again and people who actually want to get out there and perform and are taking an active role in making music with me. And I think that's really cool. And I, I really pray for the people who are so caught up in their own lives that they can't see the harm that they're causing other people. But with that being said, this was another episode and I am so grateful for y'all being here. I do just have to do a shameless plug for the Etsy shop. Every single dollar you spend there, um, it does come back to me and it funds this channel and me being able to do this for y'all. So I really appreciate the money that's been spent there already and I look forward to making a bunch of cool new stuff that hopefully inspires and continues to help people feel authentic about themselves and their body and their journey and like they're doing a good thing. So until next time, much love always. Peace out.